Hi calling friends and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, in today's video I want to give you an update on my uh, all my whips at the start of 2023. And before we get started, I actually um, I have prepared a little poll over at my community tab. So please go and check it out and give me your vote. Uh, what I want to know from you is, um, what do you think? Do you think that I have more whips than last year? Less? Or around the same amount? And I would say that five more or less is about the same amount that I had last year. I will link my video of last year uh, in the corner up above. So if you're interested and want to check it out and want to know how many I had last year, you can check it out there. So, and I want to get started with my squared books and no, this is not, and this is not all, definitely not. Um, this is just really a small portion of my whips. I will clear off my desk and then we get started. And we cannot spend too much time on each um, book because it is a huge pile of books, a huge pile. I'm curious how long it will take me to get through. So let's get started. This is Mein Spaziergang durch die Jahreszeiten by Rita Berman. And in this book, I actually, luckily I only have one started page and it is this Easter page. Um, actually, it's not too much to get this one finished. Maybe those pages that, I, that are almost done, maybe I should just finish them. Okay. Then I have another book by Rita Berman, and this is Die Welt unter der Lupe zu Lande. And in this book I do have a few whips. Uh, let's find them all. This one I won't count. This was really just a tryout and I would never finish it. So this is one, two, three. This is finished. I think that's it. Yeah, this one also just to try out on counted. So three images in this book. And then I've got flowerscape here, and in this book, luckily it's only one whip, and it is this one, this beautiful Easter um, page here. And I hope to finish this one for Easter this year. Traumhaftes Asien by Shachanok Wang. This is my very first coloring book. So um, the pages, my come on, the pages in this book, so this is started, not completely finished, but I have colored the same image, and this is actually double um, in this book already. Yeah, two, three, um, four, Oh, no, I won't count this. I'll never finish it. Five. This one I even think that I would finish. But I think the other ones, the double spreads, I don't think that I will ever finish them. This one I won't count. Um, yeah, I think that's all. So five in this book. And out of those five, I think there's only one that I... Um, would consider to finish all the other ones I really I'm not interested in it any anymore so what do you think if I'm not interested in finishing those pages would you count them as a whip or would you say then okay I'll forget about it and then misographic menagerie yeah this is one of the new books this year it is from um, Fabiana Atanasiu and it is without the hidden objects it's a beautiful book and yeah, I just tested the paper basically a little bit. This is done with the ink tins. And here again, I just wanted to find a um, yeah a combo for coloring um, wood, the tree trunks. That's all actually. Here again, just tested some mediums. Um, yeah, so three whips in this book, so to speak. And yeah, I think that's it. So, three whips in this book. Then, a Mythographic Paradise. In this book I have, uh, in this book I have only one whip. One started page, it is this flamingo page here. Yo. 
<clears throat> Here comes a very old whip in romantic country. Um, this is the first tale by Iri. And I do have one whip in this book. Yeah, and oops, uh, where is it? Ah, here. And it is this one here. Um, sometimes I have whips because when I don't like or don't enjoy how the colors go down, then sometimes I abandon a page and this was the case here. So don't didn't like the paper so much, but um, yeah, I think I should get back to it and give it another try. Uh, then Kirby Rosanna's Mr. Mafia. This is a quite new whip. I just had started it in the winter season, and it is this double um, spread page here. And yeah, I was just in the mood to color snow, and this is definitely one that I want to continue and finish off. One whip in this book. And then in the Mouse Guard coloring book by David Peterson, I also have one whip. Um, this was yeah, a page that I started to film for you as a color along. And yeah, then I just thought that it was so dark that maybe he wouldn't enjoy it. So I don't know, I didn't finish it so far, but I should definitely do it. And in my vision, it still looks beautiful. So I just keep, uh, I just need to keep going with it. So then I have um, one started page in a Creative Haven book. This is Christmas Charm by Teresa Goodrich. I have the glare, I'm so sorry. And this is my first ever started page by Teresa. And I haven't finished it. And this is really a shame because I really like um, how it's looking so far. And um, the problem is that um, I never have enough time in the uh, winter season or... I'm just thinking... This is a Christmas book, but... I mean, we do have some Christmas decorations, but I could maybe try to finish this in the winter season. Yeah. So this one. Then I also have st some started images in the um, Coloring Heaven um, um, issues here. This is a very old one. I started with all those um, flowers here and then really lost my interest of it. I still know which colors I used though, <laughs> even if it even um, though it is quite old, but don't know if I will ever come back to this one. Then in the Halloween special, I also have a started image by Anis Guerrero. Just need to find it. Ah, there it was. Here, this one. And yeah, I really like how, so far, how it looks and the background and everything. I'm a little bit afraid of coloring her skin. Usually I start with the skin to <laughs> get rid of this problem when it is only line art and when I'm, yeah, a little bit, yeah, scared of it. But yeah, so this is one. And in the Gothic Fairy Special, this is uh, featuring Michael Jelena. I have this work in progress here, which looks almost finished. This is only marker, uh, alcohol markers, but I wanted to go in with a little bit of shading. So for me, this one is not finished yet. So this is something that I really should do. And then I have this um, Disney Dreams collection by Thomas Kincaid. And in this book, I still have uh, this started whip. Also one that I had last year already that I didn't manage to finish. This is the original piece of art of Thomas or his studio. I don't know. Yeah, and this is what I started to do. And yeah, it was such uh, just so much work to do all the foliage and so. Uh, yeah. And then I've got this book by Marlon Tonyson, Wings and Fins, um, which I got from her um, Etsy shop. And yeah, I do have this started um, page here, Angel. This is a cover page for the Angel section. And I didn't like how I did those stars, but you know, I just could cover them up with some glitter stuff and then it would look okay, I guess. So. So then, Jasmine Beckett Griffiths coloring book, a fantasy art adventure. In this book, I do have some of my oldest whips, I would say. 
whips from when I started and it is this pretty pirate poly here um, yeah which I had continued throughout a little bit I don't like how it's coming out and then this was a combination with polys and I really don't like the whole polys um, perform on this paper here but um, then again all those curls uh, was not so much fun and then I don't know <laughs> I was a little bit too lazy I guess the color is coming off here that's a little bit uh, sad actually looks really not as vibrant anymore but then again I also have this um, Captain Molly Morgan page here and yeah on this one I followed a Peter Hewitt um, tutorial on how to use blue for shading on skin and uh, yeah I find it looks a little bit strange yeah it's very old and then I think yeah this was all that is um, unfinished in this book yeah then we have my hardcover books here and this is Botanicum by um, Maria Trolle and yeah let me find um, find the unfinished pages these are all finished luckily okay here is one I tried some um, pencils here can't remember which ones at the moment Mm. Oh, is it the only one? Just one whip in this book? Could it be true? Yeah, it seems to be true. I just thought I had more, but it is only one page. Which is perfect actually, it's very good. Yeah, just one whip in this book, very cool. And then Magical Dawn. In this book I have a few more whips. I hope I find all my whips to be honest. Yeah, here's one. Just need to do the background. So this is something that I really want to finish next um, in 2023. Here's another one that I had started with the ink tents. Did all the water so should finish this one as well this was number two. Oh, here's number three an old um, tutorial on crystals that I did on my channel three and then there's one more I believe uh, I know that there's one more ah uh, here this is number four. On this one I tried out the Castle Art Gold pencils. So on this one I just tried out the Castle Art Gold pencils. So four whips in this book. Okay, then let's quickly do my smaller size pocket size books. This is Christmas Cuties by Joshua Dunbar. And in this book, luckily, I only have one started page so far and hopefully I will finish this one in January. Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. In this one I have some more whips which I plan and hope to finish early in 2023. <sighs> so it is this one here. I missed a little spot of her skin there. So this was one. Um, try to find them. Three uh -huh. four. I think this is the last one, so only four whips in this book at the moment. Luckily, okay, four whips. 
So, and then we come to my random Amazon books here. So this is through the alphabet from Sarah Bourier. And in this book I do have one whip. Now this is a finished one. Here, no? come on, here. Just started with marker marker base. I do count uh, marker bases as started pages. Um, how do you think about it? Is a marker base a started image for you? Well, A Fairy Lives in Every Garden by Destiny Lauritsen. In this book I also have one whip. It is here. This is a little bit more progressed, so I need to finish it. Then Misfits, uh, A Fairy Coloring Book. This is number four by Whitestack. And in this book I also have this one um, started page here on which I followed a Helen Elliston tutorial on how to color balloons. Unfortunately, I haven't even finished the balloons here. But I have a vision how it should look. And then Cats and Kittens. This is by Zenzu Creative. And then this one, oops, there it is. I also have this um, cat page um, yeah, started basically a little bit down here. Yeah. Another very old um, work in progress. This is Spectacular Halloween Adult Coloring Book. And in this one, I have this started page here. This is, um, yeah, I followed a video by Coloring at Weeds with background. And on this one, I followed a wood um, tutorial from Melissa Colors, all the things. So these are quite old channels. I mean, Colin at least you should know maybe. But Melissa Colors, all the things. Unfortunately, she's not making any new videos since a long time. Now, yeah. then Musical Mermaids. This is a book by Selena Fennec. And in this one, I also have just yeah a marker base actually which I count as started pages because obviously I wanted to do it. So this is Festive Magic also by Selena Fennec. <laughs> this is all the tape around here because I'm not yet finished with the background on which I want to do some very um, yeah, nice effects with stencil or so. Then it's only her skin missing. So this one I should finish in the beginning of January, I, I guess. Then I've got this one here, also marker based. Two. Then I started this new book by R.J. Hansen. Yeah, here it is. Started on this one with Neo Colors. Uh, yeah. Chris Ortega, A Colorless Kingdom. Um, yeah, I have just started this um, first page here, which is also the cover page. I've printed it though on a paper. Not quite sure. I don't think that I want to continue on this paper. Maybe I will try to work on the book. Um, yeah. Then 50 Halloween Miniatures by Camel Camellia Angel Cover. And in this book, where is it? Here. I have this started um, yeah, pumpkin page here. So I just need to finish it. And then Country Autumn by um, Coloring Book Cafe. And this one I have this started image which I had printed on yeah, on this dark paper here to um, yeah, just uh, play with it and try it out. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful page, but at the moment I don't feel like continuing it, to be honest. And then I've got Juliana Amazon uh, flower bouquets and in this book, I had um, yeah started this image to film a how to color puppies the easy way with marker base and yeah a tiny bit of yeah pencil shading. Hmm. Yeah. Then Shibby Gold Halloween by Coco Wayo. On this book, I actually have oh three started images. So I have this one here, which I tried out the Shibby eyes there. Then I have one from this year. I hope I can find it. Where is it? Oh, here, this one. 
So then this is one that I have started this year. It's not a whole lot to finish here. And hopefully I will finish this one quite soon. I love her eyes. <laughs> and then this one is from um, 2021, a little bit older. I have continued this one this year. Um, yeah, my, basically um, all of this. But yeah, still a lot to do here. Three images. And then I've got another book by Kokowayo and this is Witches. Beautiful book. And I have started only one image in this book so far, luckily. And it is this one. This one I definitely want to finish soon. And then I do have uh, some books by Joshua Dunbar. This is Easy Fall. And in this book I have started something. Yeah, this cute gnomes page here with the mushrooms. So this is also one that I plan to finish fairly soon. Then I've got Hello Spring, also by Joshua Dunbar. And in this, I started this image here with the ink tents. I started it in summertime and I plan to finish this one also in spring or summer, but definitely this year. Um, then I've got Hello Country Fall, also by Joshua Dunbar, and in this book, this is I think my favorite book of his so far. I have started this one when I was very sad on my birthday weekend. Oh, I had such bad mood, but this was a lot of fun to color in those little piggies here. and. My eyes were so swollen I couldn't see anything. <laughs> but yeah, I want to finish this one of course. So then, Color and Chicks, Coloring Book 2 by Daria Sakasoy. In this book I have only one whip. Uh, this one. Another marker base, which I started last year on uh, Valentine's weekend. And hopefully this week, uh, this Valentine's Day I will finish this one, hopefully. This is one of my 10 books to finish. And then I have the adorable characters. Um, cuteness Overload, also by Daria Sakirsoy. This is her coloring book number six. And then this one, whoops. Oh my gosh, what's this? Oh yeah. Yeah, on this one, I do have this image here started. Um, in 2021, I started this one for, yeah, Oktoberfest or for Halloween season. Only colored in her hair, that's all. So I need to finish this one and it would be my first colored image in this book, from this book. And the Fantasy and Fairy Cuties by Daria Sakyosoy. This is her coloring book number 8. I don't get them all but um, I get those that I like the most. And here's one whip that I plan to finish uh, in the beginning of 2023. Oh, this was the finished one. Here's another one, so two. Three. Four. And five. So five started images in this book. Fairy and Fantasy 2 by Christine Karen. And in this book I have, uh, let me check, I think I have only one started page in this book, this one. Fairy and Fantasy 3, also by Christine Karen, and in this book I have one, two, three, I think that's it. Yeah, three pages. And then Character Through Worlds and Times, um, also by Christine Karen. And in this book I have one. Then, oh, there was the other one. Yeah, two. And, yeah, this is the other one, three. So three started pages in this book here. And then Hannah Lynn, A Whimsy Girl's Christmas. In this book I have two started 
images. It's this page here, which I continued this year a little bit when I got my new marker sets. The background, uh, I wanted to have it more yellowish actually. Um, unfortunately, I didn't test the marker, just uh, went for it and it's, now I've got this, um, yeah, it's more of a brownish background actually, but oh yeah, we will have Sylvester soon. So then I've got this image here. I'm very sorry for the noise in the background. Um, yeah, so this is the other whip that I have from this book. Two whips. Let's continue with Hannah Lynn. This is a fairy tale uh, princesses and storybook darlings coloring book. And in this book, I have only this started image here. Yeah, it's actually just a mocker base. Then. The Enchanted Halloween, also by Hannah Lynn. In this book, in this book, I do have ah uh, yeah, here is one. Um, started just uh, color the hair because I just love to color Hannah Lynn hair. Um, and I think I have at least one more. Yeah, this one. This um. Halloween mermaid witch here. <laughs> yeah, this one I would like to continue actually. Okay, let's come to Jade Summer. This is um, Kawaii Fantasy, and in this book I do have one page. Oops, there it is. Um, this one, which I really don't like. So I think that I will abandon this page, and I think um, next year. I think pages that I have abandoned, I will mark them as, a, as abandoned and then I won't count these again next year, I think. Well, what do you think? Would you count pages that you really don't like? I mean, it was so much work already. Hmm. I don't know. Then, um, Cute Witches by Jade Summer. Uh, so yeah, this one is also started. So I've started this one here. Um, I printed it. And then... Oh yeah, and then this uh, witch here. I, yeah, this was actually one of my favorite um, Jade Summer books. I am a little bit sad that I never finished a page in this one so far. I really should continue this one at least, I think. So two pages in this book. And then I've got this Chibi Gold, um, four in one books, uh, Grayscale by Jade Summer. It is my only Grayscale book by Jade Summer. And yeah, I have, um, yeah, started to color this uh, cute witch here. I love her. It was a lot of fun to color her so far, um, even though it is a little bit um, different on this Grayscale here. But this is one that I really need to finish. Really need to finish her. Okay, we are almost through. Now we are taking a look at my um, stack of <laughs> printed pages. And then we are done. So the first image is from this book, Flower Girls. And yeah, I had started uh, this page here, which unfortunately I never had the time to finish it. I really need to go back to this page here. So then, from Mariola, My Little Mermaids, I do have um, yeah, this started image here. This I think I, I hopefully will finish in 2023. Then I have this page, which is by Kelly Art. This one is by... Aurora Wings or uh, Mia Woof or something, very strange um, name. <laughs> yeah, this one is by Rayan Coloring. I will try to blend in all the names so that you know uh, from which artists these are. This is by Jennifer Zimmerman. This is Christine Kern, very old one. I don't like this color here. So, and it's not finished, eh? I didn't finish it. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't enjoy this one here, but it's not too much to finish it. So I'm I'm not sure if I want to finish it. This is also by Aurora Wings. 
This is really uh, just uh, the skin and the shoes, maybe a background and it's finished, so should go back to this one. Um, yeah, this is Yempov. Then this one is by um, Jana Prasarina. I followed a color combination by Coloring Cell, here you can see it. It is basically only four colors uh, with, push, um, with polychromos. And this is the hair color combination that comes out of it. One of my favorite ones. I love this hair color combination. This is also Jana Prothorina. Started this one this year. This as well. This is um, Destiny, Destiny Lorison. Ah, just a marker base. Don't know why I did it. <laughs> and this one as well. Um, this is by Mariola Budek. This is actually two images, so we count two. This I um, did this year, uh, not this year, but in 2022. And this I did in 2021. This I just have to finish. And uh, I find this snow color combination a lot nicer than the one that I used back then. This will be a night scene because it's very dark. And this, I, this can be a daylight scene. So then, Anis Guerrero. I really need to continue this one. Um, this is Rina, Coloring Book 2020. Um, hmm, I wanted to try a very light um, hair color combination. I used some grays and um, I don't, I didn't write the color combination down, so don't know if I can come back to it. This is Daria Sakisoi. This was from um, the Steampunk Halloween event from 2022 from Monarch Coloring Events. Yeah, this one definitely want to finish it. This one is by Maud Lamont uh, by her book Mystique. Um, yeah, the hair was done with Black Widow pencils, and I have the color combination somewhere. This is Anis Guerrero. This one I definitely want to finish. This one is by Lana Green Art. Yeah, this one I definitely want to finish as well. So hopefully this year. This is Mystic Art Mirrors. And yeah, again, definitely want to finish this one. I really like this hair color combination. Um, this is Lana Green Art again. I have um, a hair coloring video on this one. Don't even know if I put it out or not, but yeah, have a video for this hair color combination. This one is Christine Karen, one of her Patreon rewards. One of my favorite images, I think. This one really looks stunning. This is again Rina coloring books 2020. Yeah, try to do another black skin, but next time I have to scale down this image because it's a little bit too big. The face is just a little bit too big. It looks quite splotchy, not smooth. This is Mystic Art Mirrors. Um, yeah, Mystic Art Mirrors. Another one by Mystic Art Mirrors from her new book, um, yeah, something with witches, I guess. This one is also Mystic Art Mirrors, but it is from another book. And it was colored, yeah, for the German Oktoberfest. And then this is Ryan again. Really love this page here. Not a whole lot to finish this one. Should do it. And then Mariola Boudek. This one I had continued in 2022 quite a bit because I just had colored a tiny bit of her hair. And yeah, just need to finish this one off. This is one that I should do soon, I guess. Another one by Mystic Art Mirrors. More by Mystic Art Mirrors. You see I have Many started images by Mystic Art Mirrors. Should finish them. <laughs> and then Lana Green Art. This one also almost finished. One that I should tackle soon. And that's it. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Finally did it. Yeah, I will just keep this for you to look at. So, <laughs> that's all, my friends. It took me... Oh, too long to film this, I think 40 minutes. Um, yeah, 
you see how many pages I have started. Um, imagine how much more I could have finished if I uh, invested all the time in just focusing on, on a page and finish it. Wow, it's crazy. It's so crazy. But I have to say that I really love to start new pages. This is me. I, I just love it. Oh my god. And yeah, so what about you? Do you also start many pages? Uh, or do you focus on one image and just finish it and then start a new one? But if I would do that, I think I would color even less, to be honest, because when I don't feel a page, I won't color it, even if I force myself. So, yeah, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give me a uh, thumbs up. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to vote.